shares of Amazon right now down more than 4%, shaving off more than $53 billion of the company's market value after reports say the president may go after the retail giant and alter its tax treatment. Uh, that has uh, since uh, subsided, or some of those concerns have subsided a bit because Sarah Huckabee Sanders is saying that actually won't happen. Anyway, uh, Amazon is certainly one to be reckoned with. This market is one to be reckoned with. Kalpam Capital Management, President Gary Kalpam, along with TJM Investments Trader Tim Anderson, join me now with more on all of it. First of all, you know, Gary, Amazon is uh, taking over the world, so to speak. At what point does someone start to worry that it, 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 it runs the risk of increasingly becoming a monopoly-like vehicle? I have absolutely no problem with a company seeing a space that is not doing so well and getting into it. We have seen companies like Home Depot and Lowe's, Walmart, uh, here in the southeast, the supermarket chain Publix beating out everybody else. I don't have a problem with it. Nobody else should. Amazon's doing a lot of great things for a lot of people, uh, creating employment, a lot of jobs. They're going to change the face of a city here uh, down the road when they build another headquarters. I don't know why anybody would be complaining about uh, what they're doing. And for, as far as a monopoly is concerned, they're in a ton of different business. It's not just one business that they're taking over. Well, um, they certainly have kind of taken over the retail arena, so to speak, Tim Anderson. I mean, I, I just wonder at some point, would people say this is a company that needs to be broken up? This is a company that's getting too big. This is a company that will have too much control. Well, you could certainly look at some actions that they've taken just uh, in their business model the last 15 years and uh, potentially bring up antitrust issues. I mean, they systematically destroyed the uh, uh, brick-and-mortar book-selling business over more than a decade without ever posting a profit. Uh, predatory pricing is not a, really a marketing strategy. It's, it's actually illegal. And now Amazon is opening brick-and-mortar book resellers. So I think if you really wanted to go after them aggressively, that's the path you would go after yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, forget the whole tax can, status can, thing. You, you might want to be looking at that. violation of antitrust issues. Go ahead, Gary. Nobody is stopping any consumer from going into a bookstore versus buying on Amazon. It's convenience and it's price. There is nothing wrong about them having lower prices yeah, because they don't have the they don't have the they the, 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 they have these lower prices, but they've never made a profit. So you know somehow you start to wonder, and and, and this is a little out there, but it's become some kind of Ponzi scheme. Investors keep bidding this stock up higher, higher, higher. You know, the, been, the multiple on making... this thing is giant, and, and yet they're not making any money, and they, yes, are flooding the market with cheap books. They have been making very good profits over the last couple of years. For years, they didn't make money because they were building out their businesses. Mm -hmm. Look, it, what it, for me, I just believe in success. They've okay. been successful. I do not believe on taking a mallet and stomping on success. Mm -hmm. If they end up being in a monopoly, do something about it. But for me, I just think they're doing things right. All right, Tim. I mean, I, I, by the way, I, I, I don't, you know, have a... Have a a bone in any of this, I, I should point out. And I, I would point out as well that one of the good things that would prevent Amazon from perhaps being categorized as a monopoly is a monopoly uh, in, in, in the, the traditional sense causes an increase in prices. If anything, Tim, we have cheaper prices exactly. because of Amazon. That's very true. That's very true. There's no doubt about that. But the, they are getting some of the backlash right now that Walmart used to get in the 80s and early 90s when they were putting out of business a lot of mom and pop shops around the, uh, around the country. 